welcome. <laughs> now last time we had a spooky exploration <laughs> of this Atari 7800 and we figured out that, you know, we explored it, everything, we figured out that it works. So what I'm going to do is today is actually do a bit of, uh, actually I'm going to recap it and also change the port, the DC jack, you know, on there so that it's not this, no longer this stupid freaking proprietary jack thing, which it's hard to get for some stupid reason anyway. Even though the power supply itself is just a standard 9 volt, 600 milliamp. Well, it said 9 volt, 500 milliamp when I looked it up. But it's actually six, but it actually takes just 600 milliamps, so yeah. Since there's only like three capacitors, I decided why not just freaking recap it. I mean, there's only three. Um, you know, I may get rid of some noise and so forth. You know, this thing is it's pretty old, so why not? Do check out PCB Way. They do high quality custom PCBs, single and double sided, as well as both surface mounted and through hole assembly. I'm actually thinking about getting our Sidbox 5 assembled with them once we've finished our PCB design. So first thing I'm going to work on is the capacitor. I'm going to do the, the reflow, add some solder to it. Some solder to the old solder, and then use a braid. I'm not going to get the desoldering kind out because it's only three capacitors. Be a bit overkill. So I can just use the desoldering braid. Okay, there's one out. One done. Let's move on to the next. A little bit of reflow. And then just some braid to get as much solder off as possible. Preferably all of it. <laughs> Second one done. Now just one more and it's recapping. Then I wish all recapping jobs were this small and this easy, but unfortunately not. I recap some ridiculous things <laughs> in my time. That's sick. Third one in, just gonna solder that and that's done. Yeah, you recap. Now we're gonna take this stupid thing off. This, um, yeah, just need to take that off. Get a bit of a reflow and I'll just. It's actually quite easier than I thought. So this proprietary DC socket is off now, thank goodness, good riddance. And yeah, now to just fix the other one under the case and then just like wire it up and it should be good. Just notice something, somebody's chomped the corner of this off and they've actually noticed that they've realized that they've um, broken the ground and they've just soldered you know, <laughs> more on there. So I don't know what the freak must have happened here. What sort of appetites they have. That's fine. We've got anything that got severed here. And what we're gonna have to do here is, since I'm gonna put this into the um, the casing here, where the thing is, I'm gonna have to drill actually as well. So let's drill that first. Okay, just just round it off really all it needs. That's all it should need. It should take a nice good clean. 
Look at this stupid dust. freaking strength. It's an entire like hundred kick of CDs and DVDs where you just like pushed it over like it's nothing. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this even though I hate doing center negative. I'm gonna do this center negative because there are other things which are like the um, the Mega Drive, the PC Engine, the Spectrum, you know stuff like this. So I thought you know I can share the power adapter. Obviously they're not gonna be on at exactly the same time. Uh, I just hope he doesn't get his tail freaking scorched in that. <laughs> Resist. He's gone to freaking poop now. It sounds like he's demolishing the house when he does that. Let's tin that one. That's gonna be the positive. There we go. That is done nice and neat. I just gotta. I'm a bit funny with the audio. I'm not sure what we can do about that. I'm gonna I'll think of something and see what I can do. That's pretty much the basics that I wanted to do done. So let's test this on a... Um, ooh, looks really good actually, this part here. It's all sturdy and everything. It's got a freaking, a real actual DC jack rather than a stupid freaking thing here, which, you know, makes it redundant. <laughs> Okay, so we have a 7800, not completely closed. It's just put on. Um, LEDs not lining, that sort of thing really annoys me. We have a Sinclair Spectrum PSU for my toast track. Um, again, I could just use this, or I can use the Mega Drive PSU, but I'm planning to do something which you'll see in the third, in the next. Uh... Okay, moment of truth. Oh, it is a line. I just didn't see it. There you go, that lines, that works, good. Yes, there we go, it works beautifully. It's got built-in asteroids. 3D asteroids, whoops. Let's put um, bulb laser in there. See how, how that does with the Pocky. I mean, itching to try this. <laughs> It's a bit quiet. There's a lot of noise. You can see here working, but it's very um. It's almost like you know when a ground signal is not reaching a stereo. That's what it sounds like to me. Like if you got a stereo track and you take away the ground and it sound it has this weird sort of echoey thing. I'm actually bypassed the audio on the um Yay, got it. Even though the other player is human and I'm not a any contender against me. <laughs> but we get it, it works. Uh, okay, let's try Defender. Oi! Where these people go? You freak. Anyway, Defender works. I kind of got a bit lost in that, didn't I? <laughs> uh, so it all works, you know, that's really good. Okay, so at the moment I'm looking at the sound. 
I mean, I do sense a sort of stereo effect on them, and it seems to be like a reverb. This one seems to be like an original one, the other one not so much. So what I want to do is I want to do some tests um, just to see if I can like you know have an option of reverb or no reverb, if you know what I mean. You know, I'll have to just like drill another switch on here somewhere, somewhere, <laughs> and you know have it kind of like you know, a reverb or no reverb. So what I'm going to do is this red wire. If I trace this red wire here, it seems to kind of like go all the way here into this, connects to this wire and directly onto the board. So the red wire, which is the right channel, the right stereo channel from the scar, that seems to go directly to the board. Now the left one seems to go into somewhere else. I've covered it up now, I just think so. We cannot tell where it goes, but I'm going to take the left one off, desolder that, and then see what the effect is. Does it still have that, you know, does it still have that echoey reverby effect or, you know, is it, is it alright? Okay, this feels like the original sound. So clearly this board has some sort of delay on it. See what I mean? There's a lot of noise coming from the reverb one. Okay, so do you know what I'm gonna do here with the sound? Since I'm not the biggest fan of that reverb, unless you wanna, you know... Shut up. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is... I'm not a fan of the reverb, but I'm pretty sure that you know it's there and it will, it would sound cool in some with some games. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is have it as an option. You know, I'm gonna put a switch on here, underneath here, this rim part here, and uh, then I will have a switch switching between um, dual mono or the reverb. You know. Thick, so this switch will go in here. Perfect. And come out the back here. Okay, so we have the switch installed here. Now let's turn the TV off <laughs> because it's clearly you now. Soldered the um, the output wire to the center there. And that's some heat shrink on it. this now to see if that switch works as well as I think it's gonna just takes it back to normal then you can have it there's a lot of noise on the um, the reverb which is probably why I didn't like it but it still works great Let's check uh, Bulb Laser now. Yeah, definitely. Much cleaner. Just the pokey inside there, it's kind of amazing. I... 
I wish I had the option that I'd be encouraged to use this, but there's so much noise on that, it's unreal. This song isn't, this piece of music is an earworm. It gets stuck in my head, so I'm gonna be having this da -da 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 all freaking day. <laughs> no! So put these in here, screw them back on, and. Play this jinx again. Kind of liked it for some reason. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to collect all of them? It is, isn't it? That's it, it works. Everything's good, everything works, and now the sun is shining. Yay! <laughs> anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed, you know, the, me putting together all this, and, you know, it's, I'm really happy with everything now. The fact that it has a monastery switch as well as non proprietary, well, a standard, <laughs> you know, DC N jack at least. I've been using this Sinclair power supply. Because it's two point. Oops. Over there. It's uh, two point one amps, so it's like you know, quite a good power supply. I've been using it for the Spectrum Toss Track, the Mega Drive, uh, as well as the Mega CD, and also the um, uh, PC Engine. I wanna like have a better power supply so it can be like plugged into all of them, or at least like most of them. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos. And do subscribe for more. For now, me and my Atari 7800 will say adios. Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to my supporters who deserve an extra special thank you. Electronscape, Rich Garbet, Axel Dominator, Starlight Minako, Kamal Dag, Steven Leary, and Chris Sablinski. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels.